today in my philosophy class we were talking about judith butler philosophy. she was talking about how like photos are like the future anterior which is the verb tense will have been so like photos capture somebody in like a moment that they will never be in again basically kind of existential for 9 a.m but then i was like whoa photos like memory so i thought we could talk about technology and how we use it to kind of like remember things and etc I feel like I'm like a serial digital hoarder. I like used to sync my photos with like Google Photos so I could keep them for like a bunch of years. But then recently my personal Gmail, like the storage is now completely full. So apparently I have to like clear it out as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like I can't receive any emails <laughs> to like clear it out, which is kind of bad. But I don't think I ever delete text unless I know I'm never going to talk to this person again in like a bad way. Like if it's just like we met once, like I'm not going to delete that because I'm like, who cares? Also, I keep screenshots of text. I don't want to keep scrolling. Like if I ever mm -hmm. get like a cute text or something like that, I screenshot it and I have a little folder of photos where I just like look back at it and it makes me sad because I'm like oh I miss those times I don't know why I do this to myself but do you look back at the photos that you like sync no <laughs> that's why I'm like I don't know why I have them um because they're not very curated I look at my old Instagram posts a lot more because they're like curated and they're like nice and filtered but sometimes I just have like a spam of photos that I never look at there's just too many and it's too overwhelming I also back up my photos I would just do it on like a hard drive I also keep some photos on my phone that I feel like I might like want to like reference or like pull up texts I do do delete old texts because I feel like they take up space and like I'm never gonna like scroll through them but I also do screenshot cute or like funny texts and then I have a Pinterest folder for them <laughs> and then sometimes I like look back at them and then I'm like wow I'm like I don't have the same relationships with these people anymore and then I get a little sad <laughs> I feel like this whole series is just like exposing our like weird tech habits that we're like you know when you do this and everyone else is like no I don't do that <laughs> My memory is so bad. Like sometimes I do get like intense waves of deja vu. Say now, if I go into town and country, I'll like remember going to get lunch or ice cream or coffee with friends. Now I've been kind of like journaling, but it's mostly just like an emotional purge and not just like a documentation of my life. I never used to journal, don't like vlog or anything. Also just every day, like small activities that I didn't like really treasure at the time. I wouldn't think to like, oh, let me take a picture of me walking to grab lunch with someone. I guess I kind of just like forget though. As sad as it sounds, I was thinking about that recently and how I wished I documented more of my life. I don't know like, what medium it would be, Senior year of high school, I made like one second a day for like a video and like I feel like that kind of helps me to like remember like the little moments Sometimes I had like nothing interesting going on that day So it's like a video of what I saw driving to school Which is like something that I think is a little moment that you don't really think back on Whenever I do journal, I try to like do something that's like a highlight of the day But it just seems kind of artificial to be like today I did this and then, so then someone else said this and then I'm like Oh, like it just seems like one of those like seven-year-old <laughs> journal diary like dear diary like today I don't know I think so. I feel like there's just something so nice about having something like tangible that you can hold. For so long, I've been like trying to print out photos just to have them there. But also at the same time, I think it's especially hard now because like we're moving around so often. I kind of justify hoarding digitally because it's not actual stuff. And if I just like printed out my photos, I feel like I would treasure them more and look at them more than if it's just like on my phone. Everything digital is kind of fragile though. Like if you think about it, we trust all these like cloud services and um, everything the store. But if one day someone could just literally just take everything down. Like, I don't even know how the internet works, you know? <laughs> like, we're just trusting this invisible force that keeps this record of our entire life. But, like, also, if you, like, physically printed stuff out, it could all, like, one day disappear in a fire. That's true. I guess the moral of the story is nothing is permanent, and we're all just little back in the universe. If someone sent me, like, a physical letter, like, I will hold on to, like, letters and cards for a really long time. I'm pretty sure I still have, like, cards from my, like, third grade birthday. But it's more valuable because there's more time put into something. Like, even just, like, printing out a photo, and then they act of, like, choosing what photo to do and, like, pick it up at CVS. I feel like that in itself shows the extra care from the things that we post online or keep in our phones just don't seem very real. I've never really felt an urge to print pictures just for the purpose of like printing pictures. I still have like a fat tin can of like Polaroids from when I used to have a Polaroid camera but I think that photos that I take on my phone can just like live on my phone unless I'm like doing some like special project or like something like that. I don't really think that phone pictures increase their value when they're printed out. I think it also kind of ties to the rise of disposables again. You know there was this whole like trend of like showing this like very like perfect curation of your life now it's more of a thing to just like be like oh this is like the really like real raw moments that are like imperfect and you only have like one chance to capture something in a disposable so i feel like it's kind of like that where it's like going back to older less convenient ways but things they're like more authentic to the true experience but are they authentic because then we go and post them on social media where basically everything is inauthentic especially on our like main accounts because you know that out of the disposables that people did post there are probably like 10 ones that are like blank or like they're blinking or it's too dark or something you're still curating it 
but your curation makes it seem more authentic because you're using like a more authentic medium but it's really not that authentic because then you're like filtering it through an inauthentic medium so in the end it's just to like flex that you're like cool and like alternative and have a disposable camera but i do really like the look of disposables but then i'm like do i actually like the look of disposables or do i just like it because i see it everyone on instagram like when cool people do it and i want to be cool I don't know. Another thing to think about. <laughs> or is it actually adopted from everyone around me? I don't think I have a personality.